You are welcome to how to create professional website using WordPress technology. WordPress is the easiest platform to create a website. You can say this is a demo website I create that I have basic information about the hotel, good slide, you can even book for hotel you can book reservation online you can check their direction on google map you can see what they do and basic turn now we'll teach you how to create this website not just how to create it how to make money creating it for other people too now in order for you to create a website there are two things you need you need a domain name and you need a host for instance vccgana.com is a domain name um, ebay.com is a domain name then this website you see the content is called host so when you buy your domain and host you can buy your domain and host from awos.com or you can go to google and search for web hosting company in ghana you get some but these are the sites that i normally buy mine from from us now once you have your domain name and host you log in into it. There is what we call cPanel. It looks like this. So, for instance, this is my cPanel. So, how do I install WordPress on it? So, when you log into your cPanel, you scroll down, and then um, it depends on the cPanel you are using. Like, for instance, in mine, we have Softaculous. What this does is that it installs scripts on your website. WordPress is a script, Joomla is a script and all that. Okay, so all I need to do here is to click here on Softaculous and um, it will show me several scripts I can install on my website. So for now, I need WordPress. So all I need to do here now is to click on install. Okay. Now, by default, it will, it will show you this this is the directory what it means is that for instance if i should leave this here and i install it this wordpress will be on my domain which is my vccgana.com and already i have a website already that is running on it which is this which is my main website but what i want to do is i want to create a sub directory like for instance if you look at this vccgana.com slash hotel this is a subdomain under my website okay i don't want to put this on a new website because it's a domain it's a demo website okay so all i need to do here now is just to type anything so let me make this hotels so the name of the website will now be vccgana.com slash forward slash hotels okay then i'll just click here so this is where you now put your hotel name it could be anything so let me still go by my VCC Ghana. Um, let's say, okay, VCC Ghana. It's a demo website, VCC Ghana Hotels. Then here, it's asking of my username and pass. So let me just put this as VCC Ghana also. Then let me make this one Accra 2015, okay? So yeah, I'll put my administration admin email, so which is vccgana at gmail.com. Okay, so login attempt is very good. So I'll click this. Um, what this does is that it prevents people from having access to your website and all that, okay? So if everything is okay, I'll just click here. Let me copy my email. I want them to send me a copy of the login details to my email so that it will be on my record in case if I forget it. Okay. So yeah, I'll just click here now and I'll click on install. So it's very easy. In the next few seconds, it's done. Then um, you can start editing the website. And um, while it's going, this is what we'll do as a web developer. You don't design from scratch. It will take you time. 
most especially if you are a freelancer who is a freelancer people that build websites either for cheap for people all over the world we'll show you several websites where you can go and develop this website and start making money instantly from the very first day you learn how to do it okay for instance this is a website uh, it's a hotel website all i need to do is just to model on this site look at the information take some things out take some things in like this is alexa hotel so i can create mine i can decide to create special offers and events i can put conference and banqueting facilities you just copy here and there i'm not saying you should go you should go and copy their content no you just look at it to tweak it and do what will suit you to okay so for instance now so this is my website this is the wordpress um we've just installed so by default this is how it looks like um it's loading okay so this is our administrative url so this is where i will go and log in and start creating everything about the website so by default this is how it looks like it's a wordpress template so i will need to change this here now and install a new theme and everything okay now all i need to do here now is to log in which is vcc ghana and enter my password accra um 2015 and click on login if it's your pc you can click here remember so because i know definitely i'm going to delete the immediately this video is done i'm going to delete it i don't need it okay so now the joy about wordpress is everything is run by template like if you look at this now this is a template we'll just install it and tweak it in the next 10 20 minutes you are done you don't need to start designing everything from scratch writing codes and the rest okay now the advantage of uh, wordpress is that top popular sites in the world so you can look at it wall street journal they use wordpress time magazine cnn blogs and the rest it's very good it's very easy to use it even vcc ghana is run on wordpress technology okay so now what we'll do now is for us to get a template a template is predefined designed that somebody has done so all i need to do is just to change my image my content and i'm done in some few minutes okay now you can go online on google and search for wordpress so i can say wordpress either you say team or template but usually it's team so i can say wordpress team of the kind of website you want to do so for instance we are building a website for an hotel so i can say wordpress team for hotel okay so it's going to give you so you can say this this one said um 25 plus wordpress team wherever wherever so you can go and look at it the one that i really like then the very good ones are paid you paid for them and you use them okay so there is a website i normally get my wordpress team from it is called teamforest.net okay so if i go here all i need to do now is just to search okay so i'll click here and um, click on wordpress okay so there are several themes or templates you can get here so all i need to do here in their search bar i'll just type hotel okay so it will give me various teams and all that so if you look at it now this is the very one i use in my vcc ghana hotel that's the one i will use in this training so you can scroll and look at all of them so for instance um i wanted to use this you can see it's 58 dollars okay so you can buy it but when you become a vip member of vcc ghana we give you most of these teams for free that you can use to build any kind of website not just hotel real estate website banking website all kinds any types of websites you get their team will we'll give you them then we'll show you how to make use of them okay so for instance now before when you see anything the first thing you do is you preview it that's to see how it looks like maybe it will suit whatever you want to design so you can see this is the feature of the team so let me go here now okay so if you look at it now this is the demo 
you can see that it's similar i just model it here you can see just customize it put my name so i can change my color you can change your background i'll show you how to do all that depending on the logo or the color of the organization so okay let's say i'm okay with this let me close this let me close this okay so now it's either you buy it so once you buy it it comes like this this is what they'll send to you now this is the wordpress team here so all i need to do here now this is what we call plugins this is p all this are technical you don't need anything here the only thing you need here is the wordpress team that will just upload to our site okay so how do i upload this wordpress team to my site okay so i'll go back to our dashboard this is called your dashboard so the first thing i'll do here is to click on appearance then i'll click on themes okay then i'll click here add new themes and um, click on upload themes there are some free ones you can see here by default but there has no, they are not they are not professional like the paid one so i'll click here browse and um, look for my team okay so yeah it's on my desk top okay so it's good you put everything on a folder so that you know where you are looking for so this is the team here so i'll click on it this is the team so i'll click here so old hotel that's the name of the team so i'll just click here and upload it and click on install now so depending on the speed of your internet so maybe in the next um one minute or so thereabout it will be ready then you can start customize it you see once i install it now everything here will change and um, all that okay so now while it's loading let me talk a little bit about our wordpress training course usually we sell this course for 75 cities but right now we are giving it to free for our vip members this is what will teach you how to add whatever whatever I use it to create for churches and all that on wordpress so i think our team is ready so it will take you here so all i need to do here now is to click on activate so i'll just activate the team okay so so all i need to do now is to go back here to our front end and click on refresh here to see the changes that we've done okay so you can see now that this is the new thing so what we need to do now is to customize it okay now let's go back here now we need to install what we call plugins what these plugins does is that it does professional things on your website like our booking script you said this now if i want to book in the hotel and all that it is the plugins that does that okay so i'll go back to our dashboard here and i'll click on begin installing plugins so it will install it for you the name of the plugin is called quite nice booking it's a plugin for you to book so it's just simple just click on install it will do everything for you automatic click here yeah so think everything is ready now so i'll just click here and activate it okay so the following plugin was activated successfully okay so if i should click here now so you can see this is the plugin qns booking okay so i'll come back to that i will customize these plugins so now what we do now is for us to edit our front page so that we would have um we will make our front page so that we have a slide um about the hotel we have basic information about the hotel too we will have um the overview of the hotel we'll have direction to the hotel which is um, um google map 
then maybe some testimonials about the hotel then we can now put some things this is our slide on Flickr. we can put your uh, twitter tweets here so you can put your facebook fan page here you can put your social media buttons and the rest okay so how do we do that now the joy about wordpress is that the developer of this team most of them they've done most of everything you need how you customize it and all that so you don't stress yourself so let me go back to it so you can see this is our team this is the design photoshop if you know photoshop you can edit all this these are the templates that come with it this is the licensing this is the basic data if you want to use their data so while this is the documentation this is where it will now teach you how to make use of the term so because i don't want to stress myself so you can say this is the team installation we've done all that already this is the booking plugin we'll come back to this while this is getting started navigations and the rest okay so what i'm interested here is the home page because i want to edit the home page okay so by default if you look at it here this is what it said this is how the team is everything you can say this is space one space two space three how you do that when you scroll down it will be teaching you so i'll explain all this to us okay so let's go back here now and create our home page okay so the first thing i'll need to do is to create a page called home page so you can see here pages so i'll click here and add new okay so i'll just make this my home okay then i'll click here under the template default then i'll make this home page one okay so i'll come back to where here if you want to put an image and the rest so i'll just click here publish here yeah. now the sub the the template also come with some demo pages you can just install them here now so i can just click here install pages it will add the pages so you can see these are necessary pages you need and all that so i'll just click here save changes and the rest okay so i'm good so if i should click here now to edit our own page let's go back to our tutorial let me close this close this close this okay now let me go back to our tutorial i said if i want to add logo text file all I need to do is to go to general, whatever. I don't want to put a logo now. So here, yeah, main menus and the rest. Okay. So for me to do that now, for me to do that now, all I need to do here is to go to our settings. Okay. And click on reading. So it's saying show by default, it will show our latest post. These are our latest posts. That is why it's like this. But I want it to show a static page. So I'll just click here, show a static page, front page. Then I'll click on home because I want it to show home. And then um, click here, save changes. That's all I need to do here. Now, when I get to the site and I refresh it, so we'll see how it looks like. So you can see that it has taken uh, shape. Okay. So what I need to do here now is to start editing our home page by clicking on appearance here and I'll click on theme options. Okay. okay so yeah these are the general settings yeah if i want to put a logo if i want to put favicon but i'll leave most of these things for now i would um explain them better when you subscribe to our vip service 
I don't want this video to be too long. So yeah, I can just put our copyright, which is something like this for the hotel. So I can say this is Ghana at um, 2015 copyright, whatever. So I'll just do copy and paste here. Okay. So I'll just paste it here. Okay. So I think for now, this is all I need to do here. So I'll click here on save all changes. Okay. So the next thing I'll do is our styling option. So yeah, it comes with some color streams. So depending on what you are doing, but you can still edit all this at your time at your, depending on. So for instance, I can decide to use blue and black. Okay. So let me just save it so that we'll see how it looks like. So by default, it's black and gold. You can see all this is gold. So if I should click here on save changes and then um, go to our page here and um, we'll see that all this will now be changed to blue so you can see so depending on the color of what you are doing and the rest okay so let me go back here again so all these are the colors so we'll teach you all of them at our vip but we don't want this video to be too long like as i said before so the third thing is our it's our home page okay so yeah i'll click here i want it to show slideshow this is our slideshow so that you have a slide pictures of our hotel and the rest okay so i'll click here tick here to display home page then tick here auto play okay so this is where i'll now add our slide so the first thing i'll do here now is to um add our slide url the image okay so all i need to do here now is to click here on upload and then um, you see here select files so ready i'll go back so already i have my images already that i've downloaded so i'll just click here slide okay and then you can see that it's here yeah. so this is what i need here i'll just copy the url this is where the image is on my website so i'll just copy it that's all i need here and then save all changes okay so i'll just copy my image url here so you can see it's here if you want to put a title that will be in front of the slide and all that so you put it here then here is link url that is when they click on the slide where do you want it to take them to like for instance as is rolling if i should click on it if i want it to take me to a page on our website so i can just put it there so as it is i don't have any page i'll put it there i'll just put my pound sign here and that's all okay so now all i need to do here now is to click on save changes <coughs> and um, um preview it on our own page to see how it looks like so it's better so that you'll be doing um, you'll be checking what you are doing so you can see this is how it is okay this is a slide so i'll still come back and clean all this okay now let's go back and add more slides images okay so we got you saw how i did it i just upload the image on my server and all that so if i want to add a new slide now this is one i'll just click here on add new slide and do the same okay so i'll pause this video and upload audio slide then audio um slide now so if i go to my page here now and i click on refresh you see that i have more slides on it so that's how you add the slide 
it's so simple okay 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 so that's that about the slide okay so let's continue on our page now we have our slide then we have what we call our block title this is our block title here let me go here this is where we put the the other content so this is our block title one block title two then our locations here so these are blocks so i can put anything i can decide to put a video here i can decide to put an image here i can uh, so i'm just making it easy so depending on what you are designing so you can put anything here you want so i just want to follow this model so all i need to do now is to do our first block which is this the first one so i'll go to our own page and then um, I'll scroll down. Let me just minimize this. Okay, so block title one. So if you look at it now, this is where I'll now put the title. So if I go here now in our hotel, so I can just make this Visigan hotel. So depending on what you are designing, it can be the, the organizations, the hotel name or whatever or the title of the features you want to put so let me still go by it okay so this is where i will now put the content here the content are this information here you see this is ghana hotel whatever 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 so you put your image here okay so i'll just click here now And add my text here this is again uh, then I'll click here now this is the technical part of it it is called HTML but you don't need to do anything here what I will not have time to explain the meaning of all this but all you need to do here is just to copy your content and put it here at the middle here paste it okay so if you want your image to appear there is an image HTML code I will explain that to at the advanced part of the training so let me just copy the one I have on my website here already in the hotel on the one I did so this is the code it is called image code you just put your whatever here and you okay so let me just copy and paste it here everything is on the theme description and everything all these codes that I will do here but because I don't want the video to be too technical and boring, I will take my time to explain them to you, okay? So I'll just click here now, go back to here and paste it, okay? Okay. So yeah, this is where you now have your button, okay? What this button simply means is that when you go to our page here, you see read more. So when you click this, this will now take you to about us which is where you now have the complete information of the hotel what the hotel does and the rest so i'll just type here about more which is read more and um, okay so this is our link so this is where you now put the link where it will go to maybe like your website or something so that when they click it it goes to your website the about us page but let me just leave it like this okay so when you are done i'll just click here save all changes then you go to your page and preview to see what you've done so far okay so you can see that it's there so gradually gradually the site is taking shape so if i click here it will take you to our about us page so this is the block title this is where we'll now put our features okay now if we go back to our theme our tutorial that comes with the theme you can say this so now so far so good we've left the logo we'll talk about the map then we'll talk about all these menus later okay we've done the slide which is seven we'll talk eight which is the booking later so now we'll do ten so if you look at it now this is where you have the hotel overview ten 
so if i scroll on the tutorial you see 10 they said you should go to you should go to appearance teams that's where we are now so you just add this code this is where you list so you just put your features here you put your features here you can copy it are you getting it okay so i already have them already because i don't want the video to be too too long so i'll click here and um it's called hotel html so you can see so this is what i'll just copy and post so if you have more features here i can say this let's i want to add more features here i can click here um here maybe just type free breakfast free breakfast maybe for guests or whatever okay so let me just copy this code you see what we we'll use it for here Control c and then go back to our block again so you can see here. so we've done our slide we've done the block title one <coughs> so now right now we'll go to block title two you get it so the, the code will copy i'll just paste it here inside here that's the feature of the hotel and paste it okay so it's that simple so if we go by our model here um block title two so it will be hotel overview so i'll just copy it it's very simple and um put it here so if you have more features of the hotel so i can just put read more here and um, put the link okay so let me still leave it like this then i'll click on save all changes okay so that's that about that so let's go to our front page and preview So you can see so this is the hotel overview is there so everything is taking shape now so the last one i'll do here i can decide to put the video here maybe on the slide of the hotel but let me just go by my model and put direction to the hotel on google map okay so if we go back to our tutorial here you see that page 11. Mm -hmm. this is where we have our google code here you've seen it okay so i'll just copy our code and post it i'll show us how to get this google map direction post later in the video so let me just copy the one i have here on the site the one that i did it's for an address in i street accra so i'll just copy it Control c here it's as simple as that then i'll click here on location It will be on our block three. You say it's block three button. So I can just put here direction. So you click here to get direction. So this is where I'll just put the content, which is our Google map code there. Yeah. And that's all. Uh, so I'll type here maybe location or you just look at it here so I can type locations here so that it will look like this then that will be all so I'll click on save changes again okay so let's go back to our page and refresh again to see what we've done so far
so you can see it. So this is our location. This is the hotel location in High Street. I will teach us how to do this Google Map on a separate video, how to get your exact location. Okay. So our page is taking shape. So now let me clean the URL here. Okay. So how do I do that? This is called a menu. So I'll go back to. Okay, let me see if there is any other thing we can do on our home page here again. Mm, we've done our buttons. Yeah, if you want to put photo gallery, so we don't need all that, okay? So let me go back here. Okay, so let me go to our menu so i'll click here appearance menu so what i want to do now is to go to four five and six that's to change all this then change this menu three two so how do we do that when you go to the tutorial here it will show you how to do all that three so you can see this is menu so you can create our menu and all that okay so i've already opened the page so i'll just make this let's say primary um maybe primary menu or so and click on create new okay so what i want to do now is i want to add some pages to it so i'll click here home i think so far so good that's the pages we have click here home and click on add to menu okay so I'll click here on save menu so all those things we have there will be gone now so let me refresh the page so you see it there okay so let me go to our menu and make it my primary navigation and footer navigation that's up and down then i'll click on save menu and refresh the page again okay so you've seen it so now we have just one menu here home so we'll add the others later okay so that's that about that so let's go back here now and create extra pages so here we have our pages here so we have this our services pages i'll just click on copy and paste here so let me just do this now and see our services i'll just copy all the contents here okay let me not make it too long let me just copy this okay so i'll just copy the content then go to our page here and um, go to our left you see pages and add new so i'll make this services and paste the content here 
So default templates. So I can just leave it as default template. Then click on save. Okay. So I have created a service page. But now if you go to our page and you refresh it, you see that the service link is not on our menu. You get it so that when people click on it. So how do we do that? So we'll go back to our menu and then add the page. Yeah. We'll go to appearance here, then we'll click on menu. We'll click here on menu and we'll scroll down. You see services here, add. So it will come here and I'll just click on save menu. So that's how I add your menu. It's as simple as that. Okay. So now let me refresh the page. So you send it now we have our services page here now so let me go back to our model which is this and add other pages to it you've seen it like accommodations contact us and the rest okay so that's that about that so let's go back and then um, we'll look here so here we have our testimonials so we can now add testimonials to read so it's simple but what i'll do here is to add accommodation so this is where you now add your room okay so i'll just click here add room so what it does is that um let me go back here and i'll click on accommodations this is where you have the type of room you have in your hotel the name of the room so for instance here i have yeah i have um standard rooms i have double rooms i have deluxe room you've seen it so depending so you can decide to use um cds or you can decide to use dollars depending on the specification of so this is how you had accommodations to it. all i need to do is to click here accommodation and then um, maybe type standard standard room okay and paste the content here yeah. so yeah if i wanted to have features image i'll click here and then um, add the images to it um, let me just add um, one two three and click on add to slideshow here yeah. then if i want featured image i'll just click here choose any of this let me use this and um, put the price so let me make it 100 100 then um, the feature one room maximum occupancy the number of people can live in the room so yeah, this is where you now put the size of the room. So yeah, let me just type six here. Okay, number of bedrooms blah, 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 and all that. If you want to put additional features, you put them here and I'll just click on publish. Okay. Now if I go and check it to see how it looks like, so it looks like this. So you've seen it. So this is how it will look like our room. So this is the slide. This is like that. Okay. So let me add another room to it. So I just click here, add new room. Then 
So let me make this one. Let me still use the same content. paste it here and type the name of the room so I can say double maybe double deluxe or something or double room and add slideshows so you just upload it but let me still use the one I have already and click here okay Feature the image still the same process and then set as featured image. So I just click here, enter the price. So let me make this one one five zero one five zero and uh, I can just leave the rest like this. Okay. Okay, so so let me add the last room, so you can put as much as much as much room you want to put. So let me say VIP room or whatever. Uh, let me say VIP room and still use the same process. Add my slideshows. Okay, and um, add to slideshow, set featured image, um, set featured image, make this one maybe 200, and then um, uh, number of I can change the room to three depending on the specification and then um, click on publish. Okay, so once I'm done now, so we have all my three rooms ready. So all I need to do now is to go to if you will refresh our page you see that we still have only home and services so i wanted to add accommodations to it then i'll just click here go to appearance our menu again then accommodations add to menu Okay, let me just add the contact us to then um, add to menu and click on save so automatic those information will be there so let me go to our refresh our page back so you can see so we have it so if I should click on accommodation now so this is it okay so simple now so let's do the final thing let me check availability so yeah check in so I'll just put in the dates that I want to check in let me say I'm checking in today which is 21st then I'll check out on the 22nd number of rooms one so I'll click number of adults who are coming one, maybe children two. Then I'll click on check availability. So it will take me to the next step. So this is where I'll now select my room. Um, let's say I need the standard room. So I'll click here select room. <clears throat> so this is where it will now ask me of to enter my name. Which is um, if he pizza, my email address, 
Mrs. Ghana at enter my telephone number. Enter my address. enter the country here so if any requirements you put it so how do i want to pay paypal so once i click here now and i click on book now it will take me to paypal account directly to make payment so once you have a paypal account you just pay and all that okay please wait to forward this page to paypal so once that is done then that will be all okay so let me go back so that's how you make your page and all that so it's very easy to do it and um, thank you for watching this video